Yo, what's good guys? Cube here. Back with our first brand new series. I've been promising it for a while. However, it is finally time to do so. I'm just going to give you a little idea why it's been so delayed. A mixture of real life stuff and my backlog of games. Um, I tried to complete a game recently. I'm not going to name what game it was. It's a game very similar to Pokemon, so you can take your guys' these. Uh, main story was fine, but the side quest is very grindy and doesn't respect the player's time at all and I recently I just had to uninstall the game as of a few hours ago because it was driving me insane and literally made me stall this recording two days in advance. Like this is Sunday morning at 3.23am I'm recording, so I should have been done on the Friday. Enough jibber jabber about that, let's get into it. I'm not going to do the usual introduction that everybody does for Nuzlocke like this game. I'm going to go cut straight to the starters and we will see what our starter picks are. So we'll see you soon. All right, I guess I should add before we uh, really get into the Nuzlocke, like what the Nuzlocke like rules are for anybody that's never seen a Nuzlocke like before. This isn't just your traditional Pokemon playthrough. This is a challenge run. So basically, if any Pokemon faints in battle, it is considered dead after I either release it or put it into a death box. I'll probably do a death box to, to look back at the end of the playthrough and see who survived, who didn't. You have to nickname every Mon you capture, and talking of capturing, you can only capture the first Pokemon on every single new route. This includes cities, so for example, if there's a... There's no wild grass inside of towns, however, if you go ahead and are able to fish inside of a city, that would count as a new encounter in a new area, if you know what I mean. So for example, um, and it doesn't have any fishing spots, but for example, you can't normally get a wild encounter inside Jubilee City, but if you were to be able to get a fishing encounter, a fishing tile inside Jubilee City, the Pokemon you caught would count as met location as Jubilee City, so that would count in that instance. I think that's the main rule though, I might be forgetting some other ones. Oh yeah, the Nuzlocke doesn't actually start until we get Pokeballs from the Professor as well, that's another thing. If I'm forgetting any other rules, leave them in the comments, but without any further ado, let's see what our starter picks are. The last two times I have done this in a private Discord server, I have had some pretty good options for the last couple of times I've done this, so uh, I know my luck's about to run out here, so let's go. That's not a bad pick, honestly, I'll tell you. I'm pretty sure in Gen 4, doesn't it? Doesn't it get access to like Flame Pro and all of that stuff? That's like that one mon that's got a lot of like coverage moves. That actually might be a really solid pick. What's the next one? Halo. Um, I mean, not a bad star. I mean, you can evolve into a Swallow. And the last one, definitely not, especially um, with considering you don't have the fairy type in this generation. I'm talking about more about my missing mine, but um, yeah, I definitely think our tail is the best, pe best pick for us. Let's go. Let's see what star has got. Also, the, the um, starter has been named after someone that I know. I'm not going to say who it is, but this person I believe should be watching this episode and they'll probably leave a comment saying it's same. And if you do, First, I'm talking about. I will pin your comment. All right, let's just get straight into it and see uh, what the sort of picks are. Something I will say though about the uh, Nuzlocke in general is don't expect me to like go ahead and like be reading out the dialogue every time. I will do it later in the series and all that stuff. And not, and I'm not going to be including like every little NPC I fight. I'll just be showing highlights of um, me defeating an NPC tuner really quickly just to get straight to the point, you know what I mean? My idea with these episodes are to keep them short and to the point so we make a lot of progress per episode while still keeping the length down, pretty down to 15, 20 minutes per episode, if you know what I mean, so. My goal for today's episode, I don't know if it's gonna be like in, in the editing, but is to uh, get to the end of the Jubilee City tasks, so. All right, DJ, let's see. What is your starter? Because I do have, I have randomized the options where you will carry your starter and the new members of your team that you get some throughout the game throughout the entire playthrough. So whatever is starting now will be throughout the entire playthrough and this will be whether I survive Halo. Oh right, yeah, you would have one starter option. I don't know why I thought you have not completely randomized. All right, I'll tell you, what's your opening uh, moveset? That's actually incredible. Aurora Beam, Psy Beam and Water Gun. That's actually incredible well for that. All right, Aurora Beam is. Focus the energy, okay, that's fine. And Aurora Beam, I should just literally one shot, right? Or at least drop him into the red. Yeah, boom. Easy, done. Done though. Well, that wasn't much of a fight. Okay, this is the part now where we need to go ahead and basically tell, you know, our mother from in the game that would have called it, yeah, 
we got them on and now we need to go on a grand adventure and all that stuff. Like I say, I'm not going to read out the entire dialogue. I'm trying to skip over the introduction to give as much as possible so we can make a lot of progress. Uh, I'm not really someone who's really good at like, you know, reading all the dialogue and doing these like, you know, fancy voices that people like to give these characters sometimes. So I uh, just don't expect it from me, honestly. <laughs> I'm probably not going to do it. It's a fair, fair warn warning, you know. And also something else I should mention as well, when it comes to like, you know, level grinding off camera, don't take this the wrong way, guys. I, this is just to save myself time. I'm already quite busy as it is to record this episode, but I'll be using rare. I'll be cheating in rare candies, just to just so I'm not spending like an hour lit doing a like, grinding session. So I get straight to the point and record the episodes for you guys. Hopefully, you guys understand that. And if anything, that's not really cheating because it gives me a actual statistical disadvantage. If I was just if I was just to normally grind um the normal way with speed up like this, you can hear the speed up right now, can't you? Uh, I would actually not get any effort values from defeating wild Pokemon, so it would actually make my mons weaker in the long run. So technically, I'm putting myself at a disadvantage. It's not really cheating if you think about it, you know? All right, and to the lake front. And if you've never played Palanin before, let me just say this character with the blue hair right now is a very, very important character. But if you're watching a Nuzlocke series of Platinum, I assume you've all either watched or played Platinum before. And if you haven't played Platinum, you most likely have played Brilliant Diamond, Shine, and Pearl. But you still know who this character should be. I was also actually planning to go ahead and do like a um, longer recording session tonight but because of that game that really wasted my time today. Uh, TLDR, I had to do a collect the phone, you know, um, side quest. Uh, you know, we have to get like 150 collectibles. Yeah, it turns out like once I already went to all those spots where all the collectibles were, that like, yeah, it's bugged. So instead of like doing that, I could have been recording this all day and getting a little more episodes out for you guys. Can you kind of tell I'm still a little bit salty about that side quest right now? So uh, yeah. That's why I'm not doing, doing a lot, super long um, recording session today. I'm just getting up to the end of Jubilee City, which doesn't take very long at the start of the game, especially with speed up like this, you know what I'm saying? And then going from there. Ooh, Route 2 1 encounter. I could potentially get shelled. I don't know if I actually would want that. I've got to take my team. And it's getting so linked, so I can have multiple of the same type with a call up uh, they on. Like I say, the Nuzlocke doesn't actually start until we get Pokeballs, which will be very soon here, so any encounters we get up to that point won't, won't really matter, you know what I'm saying? Pretty sure this person gives me a potion. Yes, nice. Also, I have obviously randomized field items. Tangela wouldn't be a bad shape by the way, I do have impossible evolutions off. I think, I can't remember if Tangela's trade evolution or if it's a leaf stone, but if it is a trade evolution, I will ha have a log file out to evolve it. All right, Professor, yep, yep. I've made my Mon evolve already, even though they've already evolved by the time I got to him. Yep, definitely. That definitely makes sense. Nickname, yes, we do have to give it a nickname. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm terrible when it comes to nicknames, guys. So, uh, yeah. I was going to actually name this thing Squidward because, you know, well, I mean, well, actually, no, that wouldn't make any sense because it's an octopus, isn't it? It's not really a squid. Um, well, female octopus, um, female octopus. And I play Splatoon, so uh, I'm just going to be boring and going to name after one of those characters because, like I said, I'm terrible when it comes to nickname suggestions. If you've got any nickname suggestions for male or female names, leave them in the comments. And if I catch stuff in the future episodes, I might use some of your nickname suggestions and put the comment on screen in the video as well if you guys are into that kind of thing. But the only female octopus from another game I've played I can think of is Marina from Splatoon 2. So that's what we're going to go with. All right, Marina the Octillery. All right, and we got the Pokedex. Lovely. Now we can actually start the game. Oh, well, actually, I just realized something in Platinum will be a little bit different compared to Diamond and Pearl. And even I don't even know if they give you in BDSP, but Rowan should give you the TM for return right here. But I have randomized all TMs, so it should actually be completely random. If I'm not mistaken. So the TM27 is normally return, but because I've got the randomization on, I'm actually randomized to another move. So uh, let me go and see why it is real quick, you know? After this, you know, tutorial, even though. I don't need this on right now. Okay, can we go check what the team is now? Thank you. That's crazy. That is actually nuts considering what did I say early on about Telluring Flame Bro? That's crazy. Okay, that's kind of nuts. I not like that. What is the chances of that? I'll tell you about Flame Bro. Oh, before, before you even got to Jubilee City. That's one of his like main moves. Oh, that's such a good coverage option. Oh, that's a really good coverage option. I've got a hard decision because, like, do I teach it now or do I wait to see if something better can make more use of it? You know what I'm saying? 
I think I will give it to Octarlary eventually, but I'm going to wait for now, right? A hardy nature. I don't actually know what that does. I think that's a... I think that's a neutral nature, actually. I could be wrong. Mixed attack at the moment, but I definitely think it's more of a special attacker. All right, so obviously before we can go ahead and actually start fighting some trainers, uh, we need to get Pokeballs. We need to go ahead and actually talk to our mother saying we're going on a grand adventure and all of that. So let's go do that real quick. We need to get the town map. One for our site, all the journals. Well, I forgot the Gen 4 thing, actually, to be completely honest. There's the Barcel, yeah, which I will obviously has two town maps. We'll take one later on when we get to Jubilath. Okay, so we did the catching tutorial and then we'll get five Pokeballs and that's when the catching tutorial actually, not a catching tutorial, but that's when the Nuzlocke will actually start for those who are unaware right now, so yeah. All right, give it a second. And that indicates as soon as we get Pokeballs that the Nuzlocke has officially begun. So if I tell them we just died that, yeah, we just be able to lose a Nuzlocke and this will be the end of the series right here, quite literally. If it's early on in the, in the like, series like before like the first gym i'll probably just restart the series honestly <laughs> like from scratch not even upload the first part we also have some money at this point let's go see if you know yeah we can buy some uh, let's just buy 10 can we get a premium ball with that as well yes sir um a couple of potions might not be too bad actually let's like take another two yeah Antidote heal and then like a paralyzed heal. Actually, let's take two antidote heals because I know Team Galactic should be coming up at some point after the first gym. They have a lot of poison type, so yeah. Okay, so before we do anything, let's go back and um, try and get some encounters. We're not going to go right to one yet. We're going to go back to the lake front because, like, say, basically to understand, um, what kind of the new area is do you see the little bit in the top left just now it goes right through one and in the lake front whenever that changes that's a new area so lake berry is also another new area you saw there not the lake front is lake berry so whatever we get here go for it the stomping catch will play no legendaries because the capture is ridiculous okay no legendary i believe that's that's crazy that was one of the star picks Genuinely. Okay, uh, I think anything we attack with here, honestly, except from Constrict, might just KO it. So we're gonna have to go with Constrict here. Bro, well, that's fine. That actually works brilliantly. Just don't KO with Taylor. Uh, that does a little bit too little. Let's just. Is it, is it literally only got Growl? Okay, no, it's got Pick. Let's just get it under like half and then, like, you know. Yeah, let's just honestly... Okay, so I'm gonna start damaging me now, so let's just go ahead and throw a ball at us. Yeah. Boom. Let's, let's see Let's see if we're lucky enough. Come on, Taylor. We're not actually mind you in the team at all. Two. Nope. Nope. Three. Easy. Easy, boys. Alright, this is like a little bonus plan I'm put in the episode here, alright? But don't take this the wrong way, but I've been trying to re-encounter this Taylor that I got during the episode for the last 20 minutes to speed up on. I cannot encounter it. I've got the encounter table up on my log for the randomizers. I know it's in the right pool. But it seems to be an extremely rare encounter to get. So, to give you an idea why I'm re encountering it in the first place, I accidentally closed my save file without saving it. To give an idea, there is... Duskull Ditto Ninkeda requires the Aerodactyl Slug, Marcella, B, Jirachi, Glamir, Torkoal, Tailo, and Hoppip. That's the encounter pool. But I literally, for the life of me, cannot seem to get this Tailo encounter, so I'm just going to have to re-roll it, guys. Hopefully, you can understand. So, because of that. I'm going to go ahead, whatever I get with my encounter here will be the Taylor replacement going forward, okay? I've tried to get it by, but um, yeah, the game's just not giving it to me. So whatever my encounter is here is the Taylor replacement. What should give me Taylor now? Okay, Duskull, you know what? We'll take that. Sure, whatever. I had a very frustrating night. If you can't tell, things not going to plan whatsoever and me getting constantly unlucky with everything. It's been great. <laughs> Fun. 
All right, let's go caught. You're going to be the, the, the Halo replacement. Sorry, guys, that made such a mess up, you know, excellent the game about saving. I forget it's not a modern game. It's not got all saves. I'm so used to it now in today's day and age. Ah, uh, ghost mail, call it cast by the gods. I'm on so done at this point, guys. I just need sleep to refresh ahead of tomorrow and just be okay for the rest of the series. Okay, that's our Taylor replacement. So let's just go through this and see what we get. Probably gonna be Tangela, because it's a very common character here so far in this game. No, we get the shield instead. I honestly would have preferred the Tangela. Okay, even though we already have a water type, Kate and Shield will still be good for uh, you know. Uh, fodder. As in, like, you know, if Buckatelli does go down, we can replace it with Shelda. It's an instant swap kind of deal, you know, so, yeah. Okay, I've got a player in the crit. Don't do anything too silly, you know what I'm saying? Alright, cool. Like that, see, so, yeah, it's free damage per crit, so that's good to know now, you know. At this range of level 2, non evolved. This should either be a free or a capture here, you would say. B. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I've literally got another dab up on Offerage GX looking for shelter nicknames right now. I saw a good one from like years and years ago. Someone called it Bombshell because apparently one of his older like game Pokedex entries say they can withstand a bomb blast. So I actually quite like that name a lot. And I'll still say a shell when it, if it evolves into Cloyster. So yeah, let's just go with Bombshell. I actually quite I like that name. That's pretty decent. Alright, Route 202 is technically another route, so let's go ahead and get another encounter here again. Don't want any legendaries, honestly, or pseudo legendaries like Metagross because they'll be impossible to capture. Just give me something I can work with here. Cool, legendary, cool. Probably Darkrai or something like that. Or Heatran, cool. Epic. Well, we know what the thumbnail is going to be, probably. I'm doing it right now, I'm not capturing this, by the way. Uh, I can try and weaken it, weaken it. Um, water gun. Ancient power, no, we resist that cover war type, surely, yeah. No stat boot, if it gets, an, if it gets a stat boot, I'm just running, by the way. Let me know that. I'm a very cautious type of player, I am not risking that kind of, kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, we could probably go, we could probably risk an Aurora Beam, no problem. Like I say, if I get that stat boot, I'm out of here, by the way. Aurora Beam, how much is this doing? You know what, honestly, I'm not really in the realm. I think it just gets ancient power. I'm just gonna walk on it. I'm just, I'm just, I don't want to chance this thing. I just want to get this thing out of here. Honestly, there'll be a lot of XP at this point in the game. I know this thing ain't gonna be catchable. Okay, well, I think we're just gonna go ahead and just fight some trainers, honestly. Let's get, get on with it, you know what I'm saying? But honestly, I think we should be fine up to Jubilife City at least in terms of fighting like trainers and that. If anything like starts to become a problem, I'll let you guys know. But most of the NPC like randoms like that, I'll probably just skip over. Unless I've been trying to get him. He's got one mon and he's got a mid tank. Okay, that's actually quite a good mon for the first time an actual trainer in this game. That's not the rival. But this thing's a psychic steel type, so ooh, uh, probably water gun then. Is our base shout for that stab, you know what I'm saying? How much are we doing? Infusion. Um, how much is that doing? Okay, we can deal with that. Is that a speed tie? Because he just outsped me. That must be a speed tie then. Interesting information. Yeah, it's a speed tie because some of us went first. That's definitely, that's definitely a speed tie. Alright, cool. The good thing about defeating pseudo legends is early in the game is they're not going to really do too much to us and they're going to give the crap ton of XP as well. You know what I'm saying? Alright guys, I think I'm going to make the executive decision considering I got another water type and a flying type to just teach Octillery Flamethrower. It's probably one of its best moves honestly, so and it's a special move as well, so like, yeah. I'll probably give it over Constrict probably, yeah, which sounds good, you know. Alright, let's see what the second trainer's got. Anything would you call it interesting? Um. Bum 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 bada bada bum 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 bum. Ah, oh, for frick's sake, man. The time the Jirachi. What's it with the steel types, man? Like, legit. Like, bruh. This thing gets wished, doesn't it? So it can recover his HP really well, so I'm not gonna lie. 
I'm not, I'm not even sure, would I even win this fight if I had like HP recovery stuff without Flame Pro here? If I just click Flame Pro, what does it do? Confusion, how much that, how, how much does that do? Okay, only six, that's not too bad. But I know this is part of Steel types, so this should do at least half damage. Okay, that's really good range, nice. It does have rest. Oh, I don't think I don't think I win this without Flame Pro, you know. I think I actually would have lost another slot right there if I didn't teach it Flame Pro. I genuinely think I would have lost it right there. If uh, I didn't teach the thing Flame Pro because obviously it's gonna put it back down to red. That's a high that was a high roll that time. And there's nothing it can do. Alright, boom, there we go. I am super lucky I picked up I got Flame Pro. I, I think I would have lost the nose slot right there. If it wasn't for getting flip, okay, I had rest, but I know it gets like wish and all that stuff. So I think it's got two HP recovery moves early on. If it did, we were done by the way, because there was no way we were gonna like be able to get around it. I'm pretty sure it gets confusion too, which can obviously land can you know it can confuse our mons and just basically make it where it can't be defeated. So yeah, um kinda glad that didn't happen, you know what I'm saying? Weavile! This freaking road's been insane! Insane power in this route, by the way. Can we just talk about that for a minute? A Matang, a Drachi, and then a Weavile. And you give it me if you get, I, I would run all three of those on a team, honestly. Maybe not all in the same team, but yeah, I would take if you offered me those three mods, I would use them on different teams, no problem, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's gonna use a layer, it's gonna drop a defense, use the physical attack, because that's kind of a little bit worrying, can't lie. Flamethrower though, I'm pretty sure Weavile's kind of frail, so that might just one shot it. At this range. Alright, get that. Alright, and now it begins our first example of a randomized field item in this game, other than the TM we got. What is it? A deep sea scale. Isn't that for like Gorbis and all that stuff to evolve that? And the chain of mons. I've got impossible evil is like possible, so if I find like the thing to evolve the thing into the thing, I know I'm making no sense right now, but if you know you know, then that'll be useful, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so now that with the color she's gone, uh, we got the first recorder, which is gonna have absolutely no use in this uh, Nuzlocke unless um we grind money later on, right? Which I don't think we're gonna have to do if I'm being honest with you. Before we do anything though, I am gonna go ahead and go into this building because I know regularly one of these NPCs gives you the quick clock. I think it's you, isn't it? Okay, so that isn't that doesn't get randomized. That's just normal. So quick clock could be not bad. Our mons are typically slow. Oh, actually, I guess we should, while we're here, talk to this fisherman because he'll give us the old rod and he'll give us the fishing encounter we can get in Twin Leaf Down. Otherwise, you won't be able to get a um, encounter until you get a surf at the very minimum. A leechy barrier, because that's absolutely useless. There is an item over here. Oh, this is a new rod. I just really could have got my encounter accidentally. That would have been kind of bad. Tangerberry, not great. So we run into wild grass on the way back here, we just have to get whatever we got. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Okay, cool, nice. I didn't want that encounter yet, ideally. <laughs> you know? Do we get a bite? This route is... An oh, we actually get a bite on the first go. This route is usually really bad for not getting a fishing encounter. Okay, regular encounter, what did we get? Something catchable. I will take that, gladly. A hound doom could be fantastic in Gen 4. Well, actually, the randomizer doesn't really matter if you've got fire types in Gen 4, actually, to be fair, but you know what I mean. That's actually a pretty good mod because it's a fire dark, dark type, right? Okay, well, let's just. Ooh, how dare we get like flash fire, though, doesn't it? Let's use a roar beam. Ember, that's resisted, thank you very much. Of course, I get burnt, but I'm not a physical attacker, it doesn't matter too much. Oh, what did I just drop? I dropped something, I think it was a special defense. I didn't get a good look at that, if I'm being honest with you. Let's see, what does the roar beam even do in terms of like. Secondary effects. Lower the target's attack stat. That's still directly in the middle of his HP bar though, so I'm not willing to like attack again. I can get a high roll or I can get a crit and not swing out. I think at level 5 I've got a good shot of catching this thing honestly, so let's just see how it goes. One, two, three, click. Alright! A female hound up, huh? I don't know why this name's randomly came to my head, right guys, but I'm just gonna name it Alexa. Just the first female name that I thought of came to my head. Like I said, don't expect any creative nicknames from me because I'm absolutely trash at it, but uh, yeah. At least with a female name, alright. Ooh, first try! This is Delga Palkia, right? No, Arcuno. Just 
two legendaries in one episode. That's actually kind of insane. The Elgin Power Kids theme tune definitely different. It had very little time to react to what I was. I mean, I guess we can try because I should resist because I'm water tight, right? I mean, if I go with water gun and see, it should survive one, you would think, right? Okay. Power does snow. Doesn't really do much. I was a crit. Um, let's use Aurora Beam in it because it should resist it, right? Never mind, we take it out. Cool, lovely. Ooh, a full instance. Is that like double my prize money if I'm not mistaken? Hold on. No. The one of the instances definitely does double your prize money, but I can't remember which one is. So what route is this? Route 219. Alright, let's get efficient counting here and see what we get, you know. Because I just absolutely mess up the arc, you know. One. Not even a nibble. Okay, I was expecting that at some point, honestly. Okay, it's not a legendary, that's a good sign. What have we got? Uh, really? Teddy Ursa of all things? Come on, bruh. There we go, three balls. Alright, cool, take that. And yes, you guys know my thing when it comes to nicknames. I am a very unoriginal, so I'm gonna name it Yogi after Yogi Bear. Again, if you guys got any bad nicknames, please, for the love of God, just put them in the comments, because I am struggling here. Watch me struggle with nicknames more than actually playing the Nuzlocke, like unironically. In between ep in between episodes, I probably will go ahead and uh, bring up the rest of the team because we just got four new team members. Wait, Mime Junior, that was a Mime Junior. So you're telling me in the same episode, I have found the two other starter options that I had. That's crazy. That What are the chances of that? Like actually though, considering I've got the randomization option on catch em all mode, which means all 493 Pokemon of Gen 4 should be available to catch at some point in the game. That's nuts. Of all of that, I got all... I got Avog Terrellary and I got Final Tail and a Mime Junior all in the same episode. That's nuts. Let's see, what's this? A hard stone? Doesn't that boost the power of rock type moves? It is. Oh, we don't have a rock type yet, but that'll be useful later, later in the lane. We will gladly take that. All right, TJ. Hey, Cube, did you come and study too? Uh, not, not really. I came to play a game. I went ahead and memorized everything that was up in the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to have avo avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle. So what brings you here? Yeah, I've got time out for you or something, or something like that, I think. Yeah, time out. Okay, I'll take one then. Cheers. Yeah, Orberg says next. Yeah, we can't figure that. All right, well, before we leave, we can actually um face these two. And I think we get a randomized TM from these guys or something like that, I think, right? Let's see what they got. Okay, seriously, why is it with the steel types? It's like, it's like the game new. Yeah, you're gonna get BS over by steel types here. I have the flame pro TM. But how many steel types do we actually face? In terms of trainers that have had them, that's kind of weird. I can't lie. Okay, well, let's just use flame pro and just all quest. I fully evolved Monty. That'll give us mega XP, you know. Alright, cool. Lovely. And what do you have? A spiel. Okay, something a bit more reasonable. Thank you. Um, you are war ice type. Let's just use him. Should realistically all call you, right? Oh no, okay, fair it is. Now you're dead though. Oh, never mind. Now you're dead. Thank you, bye. And with that, talk to your friends and see what team we get for it. Oh, we got a potion, right? Okay, I thought it was a team we got for some reason. I thought we got a secret. I thought we got a hidden power here. That might be a diamond and pearl only thing. I'm swear that's where you got a hidden power, but that might they may have changed up and planted them to a potion. All right, Mr. Pokech. Let's finally get the bottom screen some screen time in this another lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you want me to do. Go find three clowns, answer the questions, and answer them correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know already. Yes, they get AXP points by defeating other Pokemon. Yeah, that's correct. What's your question? Yes, you can hold an item. Yes, absolutely correct. And 
what's your question? Does it Pokemon types of moves of Pokemon also have type? Yeah, exactly. How funny would it be if like someone like 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 someone quite young and doesn't understand how games work just got stuck at that point in Neo Platinum because they didn't understand you had to like click yes for all the answers and just got infinitely soft fucked you. Yeah. I bet you that time to at least one person before, like honestly though. You know. Alright, give me the pocket release, thank you. And you can see that is synced up to my uh, PC's time, so I'm recorded at 4 a.m. in the morning. Again, a certain game that was way too grindy after you beat the main story made me go insane earlier. Alright, now we can actually use this thing. Yeah, I'll keep it on the step camera for now, honestly. Eee, something satisfying about watching number go up and down all the time, it really is. I don't know what that is. Okay, well, what I'm going to do, guys, actually, I think, since we don't have everything here except from, well, North, I want to save these battles, honestly, for when we come back here after Orbrook City, so, and I know if we go right out here, there's going to be a rival battle, so I'm going to save that for the next episode. So going forward, obviously, this is a shorter recording session than normal because of how late as you, as you guys just saw us for him. So what I'm going to do is do a traditional outro here for this video. But in the future, when I do a bigger recording session and I split like a big board into multiple different parts, I won't do a traditional outro to a video. It will just be more like the video will fade out after like we've just done a major part of the game and then it'll go into the next episode naturally from there, okay? So, with that all out of the way, I hope you guys did enjoy the first part of a Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you did, be sure to leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new because we are on the road to 1k subs hopefully before the end of the year but if not that is okay and yeah that's gonna do it for me this is cube saying now have a good one and we'll see you in part two of the nuzlocke where we should be getting our first gym badge if all goes the plan and then i can go ahead and enable this badge but not yet anyway this is cube saying have a good one stay safe and we'll see you next time peace